This morning, we are helping you get prepared for a truly once in a lifetime event. And when we say once in a lifetime, we mean it. The last time Texas was in the path of totality for a solar eclipse this was when horse drawn carriages were seen on the street and eggs were about 20 cents a dozen. That's been almost 150 years. The path of totality for the eclipse today it begins in the U.S. in Texas, exits the U.S. through Maine, and how much of the eclipse we'll see depends on the weather. But timing wise, NASA has it down to literally the minute. The Texas total eclipse for North Texas will start at about 1223 totality happening at 140 to 144 this afternoon and then the moon makes its final exit over the sun right around 302. Welcome back. I'm Madison Sawyer. I'm Steve Pickett. Like we mentioned how much we will see of this eclipse however depends on something called cloud cover the impact mm. of our weather. Yeah, uh, yeah. Brittany uh, joining us now with more on this now. We saw this on Saturday. We saw clouds, but I saw the sun. But also today, we're talking about real concern about severe weather later this afternoon, later this evening. That's exactly right. So we want you to be prepared for that potential of severe storms in your area after the eclipse. It's going to be quiet in North Texas during the time of the eclipse, but we'll have our first wave of, of severe weather moving in around 5 to 6 o'clock in our southeast areas and then more rounds throughout the day on Tuesday. That's why we have weather alerts for this afternoon and tomorrow. And we issue those weather alerts when we have either disruptive or life threatening weather. And in this case, it's the potential for both because we could even get some tornadoes and large hail with these storms. So this is first alert future cast starting at at 630 and you'll notice down towards Athens, Corsicana, Hillsboro, even up towards the Ennis area. That's where we're going to see some of these strong and severe storms first where we have the pinks and reds. That's indicating the most intense storms. So we do have that potential for golf ball size hail. That was just the first round, but then we're looking at another round that moves in from the northwest, tracks right through the Metroplex in the overnight hours, and then we have even more rain on the way as we get in towards around the morning commute tomorrow. But look at this, some blue skies out in Dallas. Notice those high clouds back in the distance, though. Our skies are going to get cloudier before we start to see some breaks in those clouds. So these are the high clouds moving in. Then we have the low clouds from the south that are moving in, but we are expecting breaks in the clouds right Right around 1 to 2 o'clock. So depending on where you are, you might have a pretty good view of the eclipse, but we are going for partly sunny skies for that eclipse viewing. It's still going to get darker outside and we'll still have that slight temperature drop right around 140 guys. Gotcha. Okay, 